Well, there's an old saying that uh, the Navy has tradition, the Army has history, and the Air Force is so young it's got bad manners. Well, that's not true. We've got a great tradition. In fact, we're the second oldest Air Force in the world. In the military, we don't just fly, we operate. Flying around waving at cows, looking at people on beaches is a bit boring. But the opportunity to operate a military weapon system and trying to achieve bombs on target is what we're all about. At 82 wing, we operate the pig. We call it a pig because of its long nose and we spend most of our time rummaging around near the ground. The wing's structured into three elements. The headquarters unit for command and control, two flying squadrons, numbers one and six. The squadrons are the spears that the headquarters arm throws at the enemy. Precision implies and means that we can put a bomb pretty much where we want it. In World War II, the Lancasters used to use ballistic weapons that just rain down from on high. We've got guided weapons and laser-guided bombs. We can put it right through your window. And which window do you want it in? Hi, John. It's the flight in one left. And mine, just to tell him where to go. I've got over 700 people under command at 82 in, and we have 36 pigs. The motto of one squadron is, we see, we strike, and that's exactly what we do. Day, night, precision strike in all weather. I first met Jeff in 1973 at the RAF Academy at Point Cook. We've spent all of our married life together in the Air Force, and sometimes I have to admit that it does feel like there are three of us in this marriage. Six Squadron's motto is, we shall return. The squadron operates the two newest Australian F-111 variants the F-111G and the recently modified AUP F-111C. The type of people flying f 11 start at 20 years old, they're a senior person by 35 and then more than 35, there's not too many uh, people around who are over 35. It's a really is a young person's type of job, deliberately so. Who else gets to roar around for a job <laughs> yeah, with the hair on fire at Mac 2? <laughs> uh, you'll find that a very large percentage of the successful sorties flown in the Gulf War, war were by the F-111, uh, as opposed to uh, the stealth bomber, as a lot of people may think. There's plenty of scary times, and uh, you know we each rely on each other. Uh, we rely on each other to uh, uh, back each other up when one person gets overloaded. But you know you have a t you have absolute faith in the guy that's flying it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing that upside down at night. We go upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you do it. Didn't you know you did that? <laughs> Actually, flying an F-111 is, is, a, is a well kept secret. It's actually not all that hard, in that uh, most of the time. Oh, the, uh... <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a great job, and I think the pride thing. Uh, your uh, your family are very proud of what you do, but it's uh, it's no doubt it's a risky business. It's very important in the F-111 world to be able to operate in a crew environment. If you really can't get on with another person, um, then the F-111 won't work for you. Um, as far as a female navigator, I don't have any problems with that at all. Yeah, I think uh, female pilots would be great if they're doing it for the right reasons. Um, everyone in this room probably uh, at age about three said to their parents that they wanted to fly aircraft and uh, that's why we're all here and I'm sure there's a bunch of girls out there that have done that as well. Fighter pilots make movies and uh, strike pilots, strike air crew make history. I've got no desire to go to combat. In fact, we're here to stop us going to combat, to stop other people wanting to go to combat with us. That's what a defence force is, a big insurance policy. I love flying jets. I uh, essentially got to a point where I had to make a decision uh, 
you know, like everyone does at the end of uh, school, what do you want to do for the rest of your career? Uh, I enjoyed flying at the time and I figured the best way to enjoy aviation is uh, a, an Air Force career. So I basically set down that path. I was lucky enough to achieve F-111s and that's one of the things that, uh, you know, I would recommend to anyone that, uh, that does uh, this sort of a career is to strive as high as you possibly can and uh, get the most out of it.